Welcome. In this video, I am demonstrating how can messages are received in PCANView 5. I have established a connection from my computer to the CAN FD bus using a PCAN USB FD. For working with CAN FD messages, of course a CAN FD interface is required. But for the basic functions shown in this video, it doesn't matter whether you're using a CAN or a CAN FD interface. All incoming CAN and CAN FD messages are listed in the Receive panel. Each message is displayed with its CAN ID, type, length, data, cycle time, and count. The ID is indicated in hexadecimal format by default. This can be changed to decimal by opening the context menu with the right click and selecting the other CAN ID format. As you might have noticed, changing the format is also possible for the data bytes. In addition, you can set the format to ASCII. Those changes are only for single messages. You can change it for all via the settings menu. There are also some CAN FD messages in the receive list. They are indicated by their type. A little FD symbol. If a CAN FD message uses the higher data bit rate for transmitting its data field, the so called bit rate switch is indicated with this BRS symbol. The CAN FD messages also reveal themselves through the displayed length of the data field, which is higher than the 8 bytes of conventional CAN messages. The cycle time is the time between the last two messages with this CAN ID. The count indicates the number of received messages with this CAN ID. The counters can be reset with the reset button or by pressing the escape key. By clicking on one of the column headings, you can sort the receive list. Another click changes the sorting direction. Thanks for watching.